Hi, Kayla. Thank you so much for your last video. Uh, it was really interesting, and I'm glad your sister participated. Thanks, Kendra. Um, it, you have really hard questions. Um, I will answer them someday <laughs> with other people. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've made a video. It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, the holidays were crazy, and then I was sick, and you were here in real life which was wonderful, and I'm so glad we got to hang out a lot. Um, you had some great ideas for what to do here on The Book and the Bird, and so we're going to try it. Um, you shared the idea of a segment uh, that we could call Becoming British, and this appealed to me because I have long been an Anglophile, which I believe we both are, that means that we um, love and appreciate British culture and all things British. We both have a love for things um, English, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, all of those. And um, we, I had the chance to go to London and Dublin on a trip in college. And I know you went to London at least. I don't know if you ended up... Um, going to Dublin or not, so you'll have to let me know if that was on your your trip. We went different years. Um, but that just kind of enhanced the love. Um, and um, this spring, Brian and I are going to go visit London and Dublin, and uh, we'll be doing that at the beginning of April. So this whole segment of becoming British is really um, here at an appropriate time. Uh, we, for the non-Kayla viewers, uh, our plan is to share with each other um, some of our favorite British things or things that we wanted to learn about that are British or Scottish or, you know, the Isles. Um, and so yeah, we are going to kick that off. I'm gonna kick that off today with talking about tea. So tea, um, tea is something that the British really like a lot and Brian and I happen to like it a lot too. So we drink a lot of tea. Um, I don't know that we always drink it the proper British way. I think one of the main ways we both learned how to drink tea better was from uh, British science fiction writer Douglas Adams. Uh, he's the author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, he passed away a few years ago. Um, but he wrote a little article about how to make tea, and that influenced us. He talks about how you have to start with uh, boiling water not boiled water, so I filled my kettle uh, with water and so we're going to heat that up. So our tea stash, we have a drawer full of tea and there's the, we've got the tea that we use for sun tea, or for sweet tea, we've got some hot chocolate that we never drink because we always drink tea instead, so we've got our Dylan's um, private selection blends, that are pretty good. But then we've also got good, good loose leaf teas that we've got some of from the Spice Merchant. And what I'm going to be making today, which is my favorite British tea, which it says at least that it is England's number one tea. I don't know if PG Tips is truly the number one tea, but this is what I'm going to have today. And it, like, um, Douglas Adams says you need to make sure that uh, your teapot is warm before use. And that is one of the, the things that he specifies is once you've got your boiling water, not boiled water, boiling water, um, you need to warm your teapot. I am not going to use a teapot probably because I don't think I am going to drink that much tea. I'm just going to use my tea mug today and I will make sure that I warm the mug before I make it and we'll be back when the water is hot. Okay so our water is hot 
my tea kettle does not whistle when it is boiling. So I'm putting some water in my tea cup to make sure that it gets nice and warmed because that's what they said to do. It should be noted for tea purists that depending on the type of tea, um, it's the type of tea, different temperatures um, to brew the best. So a lighter colored tea, like a white tea, the water does not need to be boiling. Um, I don't know if that's a British thing or not. I don't know if they really drink white tea. Um, and also it should be noted that Douglas Adams uh, said to use Earl Grey. But I have PG tips, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, he also said that he puts his milk in first. I also add my sugar first. That's a lot more milk than I wanted. But anyway, uh, he puts his milk in first, even though socially that's incorrect. But we don't really want to scald our milk by putting it in uh, before. And so one of these tea bags makes a cup of tea. And then I add my water. And then I turn off some stove so I don't burn the house down. And so I'm going to have just my cup of tea instead of a teapot. So this is how I drink my English tea. So I did add a new step with heating the teacup, and I think that will help, help it as it brews. And really, uh, one to three minutes is the good brew time. So that's how I make my version of tea, and yeah, my American version of British tea. Ciao!